Powell. Today I'm going to show you a Gold Tone CC50 banjo. It happens to be a blem, which I'll show you what the blem is later. And blem basically is a very insignificant uh, mark, usually, in the instrument, which causes you to get a great discount. And uh, the manufacturer would just as soon have us come pick some up and sell them as opposed to them having to try to sell them and ex do all the explanation and send photos and all that type of thing. So uh, there aren't that many blems available. In other words, we buy every one we can and we're continually running out. Now, what we have with this banjo is, and we'll, we'll uh, do a close-up of the pot here, and... Uh, we have a solid tailpiece. Now, once again, when you're looking at a banjo in this price range, look at things like the tailpiece. Look at the armrest. Does it even have an armrest? This actually has a one-piece armrest, which is similar to what you might find on a three or $4,000 banjo, okay? Um, this is your, your basic banjo. Uh, we can kind of go up the fingerboard. Uh, up to the headstock. And the main thing here, I'm going to turn this over, is that it does have enclosed keys. Okay? And let's go back down, and I'm going to turn the banjo and show you something very significant. If you're buying a banjo, looking at one, I mean, a lot of people start at a pawn shop, and they come into me, I teach, and they've got this banjo that literally can't be played. So I always try to get them to buy something that has a really solid coordinator rod here. Sometimes they have two, sometimes they have one. What this means is two things. The banjo will stay in tune because it's, there's a solid joint between the neck and the rim. And also you'll get the, the best sound. And to that end, I have actually played these banjos. I have one of these in the back of my car that stays there all the time in case I need a banjo for some reason. And I have actually played in jams with 30 or 40 people with this banjo and it's been perfect and loud enough. And this is a CC50 banjo, okay? Now, let's talk about a couple things. First of all, it comes with a nice bag. Uh, this isn't a cheap bag, it's a really nice bag, okay? It has a place here for your picks, a little zipper thing here. Uh, it's got straps. I guess you could even take this banjo hiking if you wanted to. You know, you just strap it on your back. Now, let's talk about this blem, which has given you this great price on this banjo. And to do this, we're going to have to do, get the micro close-up here. And I will assure you, first of all, this uh, instrument has a full warranty. And see if we can even get close enough to show this. Is that, that's probably as close as you can get, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so what this is, is a very little crack when we when they screw this screw in right here. There's this little, and I, and I will say insignificant crack, you can hardly see it. And that, folks, is what gives you this great discount. So if you have any questions about anything, you can reach me personally at the ultimate banjoexperience.com ultimatebanjoexperience.com or we have atlmusicandeducation.com okay in fact write that down because we have all kinds of instruments we're not just banjos but all kinds of stuff that uh, will be on that site and uh, you should go to the site every once in a while and just see what's come in well I think that's about everything I can say about the banjo uh Good luck, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.